Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you a really cool game between Magnus Carlsen and MVL. So uh, Carlsen with the white pieces opens up with d4. We have knight to f6 from MVL and now c4. The Indian game, g6 the king's Indian defense, knight to c3, d5 the Grinfield, the Grinfield defense, now c takes d. Knight takes d, e4 attacking the knight, and now knight takes c3. b takes c3 and now just bishop to g7. So the bishop to g7 allows the allows castling to happen and uh, this uh, bishop is doing pretty well on this long diagonal. Obviously not right away as this this is um, kind of disturbing the bishop but later in the game it will be effective. Queen to a4 check and now just queen to d7 offering a queen trade but white gets nothing out of this queen trade. Uh, black might be able to defend the, uh, to develop a piece uh, white, uh, just give up a queen and, uh, for no real development, so, uh, Carlson declines this trade, queen to a3, bishop to, b, uh, b6, allowing this bishop to fianchetto along this diagonal, and now we have knight to f3, c5, attacking the center, and now bishop to e3, uh, trying to hold the center, trying to defend it, castles, and now rook to d1. C takes D, C takes D, and now Queen to G6, offering a Queen trade again. So now uh, Carlson accepts and goes Queen takes D6, E takes D6, and now Rook to C1. Bishop to B7, Fianchetti went along the long diagonal, and now Bishop to D3. So now uh, both Bishops are in a in a pretty good spot. Um, the center is uh, is in a, is uh, completely controlled by White. Um, this king uh, could slowly enter the game like this, and then the rooks would be connected. So let's see if Carlson can continue. Knight to c6, and now king to d2. Rook a to c8, h4. So now since Carlson didn't castle, uh, the uh, Carlson can start pushing the kingside pawns, uh, trying and maybe getting h6 in. And yeah. so now knight to b4, attacking the bishop, but also the undefended pawn on a a2 now we have bishop back to b1 defending the uh, pawn and now rook c to e8 a3 attacking the uh, knight now knight to c6 bishop a bishop to a2 and this is a really interesting move as it pins this pawn to the king uh because this bishop is is doing really good as it, it controls a pretty big diagonal and uh so yeah rook takes e4 Okay, so now we have bishop to d5. So now uh, now the bishop is obviously attacking both the rook and the knight. So uh, we have knight to a5. Uh, you can't you can, uh, defend this uh, rook here because if the rook goes back, then um, you can capture here and the bishop comes back. And then you would just capture the bishop back. So you would be up a whole piece. So um, instead of that, we have instead of that, we have knight to a5. Bishop takes e4, bishop takes e4, now rook to c7. We now have a6 and h5. So now this pawn is getting pretty far up the board. It's, it's proving to be pretty dangerous. Uh, we have b5. h6, now the pawn is getting pushed all the way up, and now the bishop has to move. Bishop goes back to bishop goes forward to f6, but now we just have bishop to g5. And now this bishop uh, either has to trade or go all the way back. And remember, Carlson is up uh, some material here, so so uh, obviously MVL can't trade, so MVL pushes back, bishop to h8, rook to h4, attacking the bishop on e4, and now we just have bishop back to d5. King to c3, now bringing the king into the action, and now knight to c4. Now this, this knight to c4 move is attacking the a3 pawn. Knight to d2, and now knight takes a3. King to b4. Knight to c4, knight back to c4, and now just knight takes c4, giving up a uh, uh, now giving up a giving up the a3 pawn. So knight goes back, knight captures, bishop captures, and now just bishop to e7. So both players are equal in material, but um, uh, Carlson is doing much better because uh, Carlson's doing much better due to his attacking strategies right now. So bishop to e7. Now it's obviously attacking this rook here. But it's also attacking this pawn, so Carlson just wins the pawn back. 
Now rook to e8, and now ignoring ignoring the pawn, uh, Carlson can take that whenever he wants. He plays rook to f4. The pawn comes up to f5, and now we have g4. King to f7, now attacking this bishop. The bishop has to capture the pawn now, and that's what Carlson does. Bishop takes d6 with the discovery from the rook, and now we have king to e6. Bishop back to c5, yeah, bishop back to c5, bishop to f6, and now g takes f5 check. g takes f5, and now just rook to c6 check. King back to f7, and rook takes f5. As you can see, this game is getting closer and closer to a Carlson win, and um, we have rook to e6. And now, uh, obviously, Carl, all Carlson has to do is capture this rook here, and it's, it's Carlson, and uh, it, it's going to be pretty much game over. But uh, you could also, but Carlson plays d5, which is the which is a good move as well, because now. It's attacking this. It's attacking this rook, and if the rook captures, you just capture back, and then you start pushing all the way up the board, and then you get a queen. So in this position, uh, Carlson won due to MVL's resignation. So on move 40, MVL resigned the game. So uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment on it below. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.